Racing in the Vigil Stakes. Pink Lloyd away okay. Is mid-pack coming through, but out in front as they break Sable Island from Wyattstown, and Pink Lloyd is two away third. Going forward in the centre early is Martin Lake. Eskimins in the outside. Dixie's Gamble's got back on the rail, and Circle of Friends the outside, sharing the early lead. On the inner, it is Wyattstown on the outer Sable Island. About two and a half away, Pink Lloyd in third. A length to Dixie's Gamble's caught up some ground. Out wider Eskimins and back in the centre, Martin Lake, and Circle of Friends is the trailer into the 3 8 turn and running to the front, Sable Island, and has really pushed for the lead here from Wyattstown. They're four in front. Pink Lloyd, yet to be fully asked, is right back in third, going okay. A length away, Dixie's Gamble, as Pink Lloyd tries to rein them in now, is urged along to make ground and is doing so as they turn in the vigil. Out in front, Sable Island, Wyattstown, and Pink Lloyd looms on the outside and in a breath has got them. Pink Lloyd on the outside's run clear. And Pink Lloyd, just how supreme this sprinter is. What a delight. And Pink Lloyd coming down to the wire for a third vigil stakes. And 19 wins in 2019. Second home, Sable Island, narrowly from Wyattstown. And behind them was Martin Lake. And it is 1868. Another great time. A step into what has been an outstanding career of 19 successes from 24 starts, undefeated in this campaign at seven years. I've not been lost for words very often here in the sport of horse racing, but I've lost questions. What about my bald spot? <laughs> 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 Isabel gets her nice hat on in here. Yeah. Enrico Rosa da Silva bore for the victory, and uh, Bob Tiller has just done a masterful job here with Pink Lloyd. I think I've actually run out of questions about this horse, but we'll talk about the journey anyways. Post one, 127 pounds. He says no problem. You know what, he just broke so sharp and uh, I'm glad I have his speed to go. And I was just sitting behind the speed and you know, he was running so different today, like way more relaxed than he usual. And uh, when I asked him, you know, I never feel an explosion. I ride for 30 years. Like this horse just explode on the on the, on the turning home. You know, when I asked him, he responds so fast. He's an unbelievable horse. It's funny that you mentioned that because I thought, oh boy, does, does he not have horse here today? He did. <laughs> oh, he was like asleep. You know what? I'll take care of the business when you need me. Uh, you know what? I'm so great to be part of this team. You know, uh, I have no words to say how much I appreciate the ride for Bob and. Uh, and the tremendous work he does with this horse. You know, it's a lot of details every yep. single day, you know? Thank you so much, Bob. And I think Isabel wants my job. She's trying to take the microphone. Okay, say, say good luck to everybody, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Eureka. Okay, so I want to read you some stats in regards to this horse, okay? Yeah. 19 for 24, yes, sir. at the distance 15 for 16 with one second place finish. Amazing. This resume is pretty much flawless. Yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing. You know, everybody was gonna beat him today. It was <laughs> all the experts were out there and saying that he was gonna do this and do that. And 127 Unreal. pounds in a one hole. They were all wrong. He beat him easy. He's the greatest, he's an icon, he's an icon. He's the greatest sprinter there ever was in Canada. I've been doing this for 50 years. I've been around here for a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never seen a sprinter in Canada. This is not only, the, he might just win a horse of the year again this he year. Could. It's very possible. And you know, he's never been better. Uh, I don't want to shoot up, shoot off my mouth because as soon as you open your mouth, you wind up eating <laughs> your words, but he's never been better. Eureka wrote him terrifically today. Uh, he's a monster. He's more relaxed than he's ever been. You know, we've, we, we made some adjustments with him this year. It's working so far. Uh, I thank the good Lord. He's a wonderful animal, and I will never forget him. And, Bobby, we want to thank you because, you know, horses like this, good horses like this, to stay good for as long as he has, yeah. it's really it's really impressive. So well, thank you so much for that. Well, I've got to thank my team at the barn. I've got a great team at the barn. There's a lot of good people over there, uh, you know. The, the riders that get on these horses, they're, they're wonderful, and, 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 and the, our grooms, and, you know, it's hard work over there, and, and they believe in me, and they believe in, in, in the hard work and, and the details of the game, and, and they're all wonderful, and that's why, you know, we can add a little to this horse. We were able to figure him out, and guess what? He ain't done yet, and I think <laughs> I've said that before. Three vigils. We'll see if he can get four next season. Congrats, well, Bob. Thank you. Okay, there you go, thank Bob Tiller, the amazing Pink Lloyd, as Bob said. You know, somewhat like Tiger Woods, just when you think he's done, he comes back. Now he's won three races in a row this season.